On the estimating side, we're really looking for folks that uh, have good attention to detail, the ability to read and interpret drawings, blueprints, schematics, and, and really get into the details of these architectural and electrical prints uh, to put together the scope of the project and ultimately get a bid. And that bid entails going out to all, our, all of our vendors, which are the manufacturers that produce the lighting and the controls, which uh, really are well over a hundred or so of these companies throughout the uh, US and Europe and Asia. On the project management side, again, attention to detail is very important. Uh, it is more of a customer facing role and it's in the field. So uh, you really have to be able to work hand in hand with the contractors, both the general contractors, electrical contractors, as well as some of the other trades to make sure you can uh, really understand their issues, get good problem descriptions, and be able to translate and multitask that project from start to finish. Our project managers really will have to multitask anywhere from 10 to 20 projects simultaneously. So in, in addition to that you know, technical ability and on-site customer facing role, uh, you really have to be able to multitask uh, with you know, many different projects going on in, in different stages. Some at the beginning, some in the middle, some at the end. I think Bob hit it right on the head. When we were talking about the estimators, it's, it's the attention to detail and having the patience to really read through all of the plans and identify some items that may be hidden in the notes that are the uh, architects or the designers are communicating to, to us about how the, how the uh, lighting fixtures are to be laid out. And then again, it's, it's, not as, it, it's not really customer facing, it's really getting into the, into the weeds with the granularity of, of, the, of the project. The, the project management piece though, on the other hand, is belly to belly, customer facing, working with the, the teams that are actually on site and you have to have perseverance. You have to be a negotiator. You have to be a people person. And again, then you have the attention to detail and very, very, you have to be very organized to, to be successful there in terms of what was communicated, how it was communicated and be able to set expectations and, and timelines, I think is some of the things that I, I find a critical skill sets to be successful.